me. God, why am I so awkward? I'm so sorry. I. Okay, so welcome back or welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking onto this video. This is the most highly requested video I have gotten. Like crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm sorry for making you guys wait for so long. I've really been having, you know, a really bad relationship with my hair lately. I'll explain a bit more later on into the video. So yeah, so it's how I get like these bouncy blowout sort of 70s sort of type of look. I'm not gonna make this intro too long. So yeah, if you wanna see how I get these gorgeous, you know, 70s hairstyle look, just keep on watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and also follow me on Instagram down here. Please ignore me, let's just get started. I promise the video is more professional than me right now. Before we get started, just a couple little disclaimers. One, please do not be scared by the state of my hair right now. Um, I took a shower last night and I let it air dry, hence all the frizz. I'm really in a very rough, toxic relationship with my hair at the moment. My hair has been a source of a lot of insecurities for me. Um, it has been very, very damaged lately and I have recently just had a big chop like my hair has been damaged from bleach it's not been damaged from heat although i'm sure the heat has not helped on top of bleach and bleach and bleach and bleach like once you go blonde you really just become obsessed with the blonde this is a gorgeous hairstyle it is my favorite go-to going out everything is just my go-to favorite favorite thing to do but doing this hairstyle or any style that involves a straightener a curler um it's not good to have heat that much heat on your hair so do not do this every single day it will damage your hair another thing use heat protectant always use heat protectant i did not use heat protectant before and i regret it so please learn from me learn from your big sister here i am giving you big sister advice heat protectant always now the cut of my hair oh my god it looks ridiculous right now but obviously my hair is quite short. Um, I do have a quite a few layers, but I do have curtain bangs. Um, you do not need to have layers or you do not need to have short hair. Like I just said, this is a recent chop for me. So this still works if you've got longer hair. It was quite, sorry, my child is calling. Say hi, baby. Hi. No. So yeah, things, the things that you will need for this is heat protectant, please 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 do not skip this step your hair will hate you if you skip this step the next thing that i use is not mandatory but definitely recommended um i use this moroccan oil to help brush out my hair next thing obviously a hairbrush i just use any any will just do and a hair straightener this is one with no branding on it whatsoever i really don't know where this is from this is about 10 years old so any hair straightening you have laying around will do fine and also what you're going to need is just a few little clips just to help separate your hair and make everything a bit more organized and yeah that is really it let's just get started into the video now the first thing that i'm going to do is just separate my hair in half like an inch above my ears and just sort of meet them in the middle doesn't need to be a straight perfect line like with curling your hair you do kind of just brush it all in together anyway so it will be fine so i just put it in a little bun and put it up and away oh look ridiculous it's okay i just separate these two and bring them towards the front and what i do is i go in with some of my oil so i'll go in with just about one pump um, I don't brush out my hair when it's dry. I actually haven't put heat on my hair in a month. I filmed this video about five times, but I was just not happy with how it turned out. I wanna provide you guys with good content. Um, and I am a little bit of a perfectionist, but I'm also the laziest perfectionist you'll ever meet. I'm a perfectionist in the way that I won't do it because I'm scared it won't be perfect. So I'm just gonna brush out my hair and yeah. So I've brushed out this side, as you can see, and then I'm just going to spray it with a bit of heat protectant. And 
I'm gonna brush the heat protector through as well. Okay, so both sides of my hair are completely brushed out. There's no tangles or nothing. I can run my hands through them quite nicely. And the heat protectant is also applied. The next thing, which is quite important in the way that I do my hair, is that you wanna take out quite thin pieces. It doesn't matter about how long widthwise they are, but quite thin. If that makes no sense, I'll just show you guys. So you wanna take out a piece sort of that looks like this. Right, so as you can see, from sideways, it's quite long, okay? But from this way, it's like a thin piece that I've took out. I can't like verbally explain it well, but I hope you guys get the gist. That's how like I take the pieces out. Now, this is a small, short piece, but basically what I do is I curl the bottom of it. So I'll go in like this and I'll curl towards me like that. So same thing, this is another piece. Get my straightener, just the bottom. So I'll start from around halfway and go like that. I hope, I hope you guys are visual learners cause I'm so bad at explaining stuff. This does not need to be perfect in any way whatsoever. Like, please do not stress yourselves out. Um, if you do not get it the first time, it's completely fine. The thinner pieces that you sort of take out, the easier it is to control um, the curl, like control what you're doing with the straightener. By the way, you do not need to clip them away like with doing every piece. I'm just doing that just for the purpose of you guys seeing it properly, just so you know, see what I'm doing. It's easier for you guys to follow along. As you can see, this curl doesn't look as nice as like the bottom ones, but it's okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. Like, you know, chill out. I'm telling you guys to chill a lot because I remember like, like doing my hair really stresses me out. It is very therapeutic for some people, but because I don't like my natural hair and I don't like how it sits, um, it can sometimes be a very stressful process for me. So yeah, <laughs> so that's one side done. As you can see the difference and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side, just off camera. Okay, so I've just done the exact same thing on the other side and now it's time to you know, release the top section. Now, what I like to do is separate my fringe. So like my curtain bangs, I like to separate them out. I look absolutely ridiculous, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna pop my fringe into this little bun at the top of my head for a second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know, leave all the bottom curls obviously and then just brush these out with some Moroccan oil and pop on my heat protectant. Just the same thing that I did to the bottom really. Okay, so now that these two sections are brushed out, heat protectant on, ready. And I've also just very loosely clipped away all the sections that I've curled at the bottom just to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. And literally it's the exact same thing that I'm gonna do throughout all of my top hair up here. So same thing, I just took away a little piece from the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up. See, if you see smoke, that's not good. Um, obviously this has gone a bit too high. Oh yeah, definitely too high. Okay. 
honestly the most annoying thing about filming for me is like the lighting just goes off at the worst times ever and it annoys me so much because I'll spend about 10 15 minutes just trying to get it to look the same again but it doesn't Look how cute that girl turned out. <laughs> okay, so same thing. I'm just going to do this side off camera just to, you know, not have used hair for so long. So I'll be back in just a second. Right, so now all of my hair is curled and all I have left is my fringe. Um, if you do not have bangs or fringe or anything like that, you can do this with just like, if you have any layers in your hair, if not, just curl them the same way as you would this. But my bangs really do add just that extra bit of volume. Obviously first brush it out, apply heat protectant. So I'm just gonna brush this out now and just wait for the heat protectant to dry. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna curl this is backwards. You'll see better when, obviously, when I'm doing it with the straightener. Okay, so I put the camera a little bit higher and moved a bit closer to, obviously, the camera. And the camera, I I literally film on my phone. And um, hopefully I will, you know, save up enough money to buy a camera so I can give you guys, like, proper good quality videos. But for now, this is all I have to work with. But I'm grateful still. At least I have a phone. Gotta be grateful for what you have. That turned out nice. I cannot see, but I do know that turned out nice. I used to never ever be able to curl my hair with a straightener but honestly once you stop overthinking it that's the biggest like thing that will just slow you down. Now the last little section we have here so here it goes nothing hopefully this one turns out nice. Is what you're left with let it all cool down and then we will start to brush it out okay so it's all cooled down now so what i'm gonna do is bring my hair to the front and i'm just gonna get my little paddle brush like this and i'm gonna brush all my hair forward this is what's gonna give us that like really voluminous 70s look I can't see myself properly but I am guessing that I look like a really ugly mushroom but yeah so this is my favourite favourite part what I'm gonna do is just go up down up down and just go ham so oh. okay give it a second <laughs> okay so this is the final product um it usually turns out even nicer than this but you guys get the gist of like what i'm doing and how i do these curls so hopefully this really makes sense for you guys and you guys understood and could tag along with me and um, thank you guys so so much for watching my videos honestly it means so much to me we're so close to 20k subscribers and that is literally like mind blown like i'm honestly so surprised and um, yeah just thank you guys so so much your support means everything to me and um, make sure you guys follow me on tiktok and on instagram and obviously like and subscribe for more videos and leave a comment down below on videos you guys want to see hopefully this has been a good like representation and helped you guys understand how i get these curls yeah thank you so much for watching i don't really have much more to say apart from thank you <laughs> yeah i love you guys so so much and bye